Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got an EDC video for you. And today I thought I'd show you, go over some of the wallets I've used over the years. And and really, this goes back probably good 10, 12 years. Um, there's one missing. I had a Chum's Surf Wallet, Surf Shorts Wallet, and... um. I really liked it. What happened was I happened to shove too much stuff in it. And when I zipped it, I got a piece of the fabric caught in the zipper and I couldn't get it out. I got mad, ripped everything apart, threw it away. But that was my fault. And I'll probably pick another one of those up because they, they are pretty cool. But yeah, get down to it. I got eight different things here I've used. Um... The first three I used for a long time. And the past year or so I've kind of swapped swapped between the other ones. But yeah, get started. Way back when I had a billfold. Um, no name. There's no tags or anything on it. It's probably from, you know... Kmart or someplace. I, I don't even know. We it might have been about the time we got a Walmart. I'm not sure, but yeah, standard billfold. You know, you got a little flap for ID window. You got one, two, three, four, five, six card slots, which you know can hold several cards in each one i mean you could really pile this thing right up you know it's three in that so <laughs> plus there's two pockets here you can put stuff in and you can literally um really stuff this cash compartment right here you know don't have to fold the bills or anything and you know it starts out pretty thin but yeah it can get pretty thick and as you can see it's it's I, I don't I guess it's leather but I don't I'm not sure if it's real or not it's pretty beat up it's all scuffed up you know it's ripping apart here but I carried this for a long time and still I, I still kind of use this because I took them out, but I, I do keep a couple of things in here that I don't carry with me, but to store them at home, I keep them in this. So, yeah, I carried this in my back pocket for the longest time. And then I found the Slim Clip. Now, I got this thing. I, I don't know where I got it, <clears throat> but I thought it was pretty cool. It used to be commercials on it. You know, I got six cards right here. So, how this works, cards go in this slot, and then you can put money in this slot, and this side. I think I, I usually folded them. And I carried this for a long time in my front pocket. Now, you know, it's, it's hard. You got... That sticks up. These kind of stick up. That sticks up. It didn't feel too bad in the pocket, but sometimes, you know, they did kind of rub into you. But, yeah, I carried this for, I don't know, three, four years at least. And it's a slim clip. I think you can still find these, like, on Amazon. I mean, works excellent. That kind of got me into minimalistic wallets and yeah I carried this for a long time and then I bought this leather one and this is actually shows how long it used to be embossed it's United United Steel Workers um, had a USW logo and everything on there and it's it's like completely worn off might be able to make it out a little bit. 
but this one worked excellent for the longest time and I think I had a couple more cards in here um, and I probably had my actually my union card in there and insurance card so it's a little stretched out um, <clears throat> so I always had to put in my my pants like this down in my front pocket and when I pulled it out I'd get I'd get whatever card I wanted and I'd keep my thumb over it back here is a you know magnetic little money clip I folded you know cash once and pretty strong I mean you could you could get a lot of cash in here and it still kind of holds but yeah I always kind of when I had it on my pocket I kept my hand over the cash my thumb on top of the cards because yeah you could definitely shake them out um, even even when I had it stuffed so yeah this this I used for I don't know maybe five years I'd have to say at least five years and it still functions perfect um I liked it I still like it but just getting all beat up and yeah it's got a little stretched out like I said cards would would actually fall out and then I bought this and right now I cannot think of the shop I bought it from off Etsy um, I got this about a year ago and this is a pretty pretty sweet looking wallet just one pocket go slot here you could put another card I kept cash in it right there this was made for like a little keychain you know shoppers club card would fit down in there but yeah leather it's patinaed nice I mean it looks worn I, I like it it's kind of taking the shape shape of the cards got a few scratches from my knife or whatever in my pocket but yeah I carried this for a while and then I kind of decided towards spring that I really didn't want to carry a leather wallet so much you know because being getting warm out sweating stuff like that and I just wanted something besides leather this is leather you know I've had it I've had enough leather try something different so then what I got was the recycled firefighter sergeant's wallet now this thing I really like this this is pretty <clears throat> pretty awesome and I slimmed down my cards a little bit when I got this down about six cards Got a elastic band on the back for cash. I've never lost any cash out of the back of this. I've never lost cards. And, you know, it's not much bigger than the cards, right? So, really, it really carries good in the front pocket. Um, I know people, I've seen reviews on YouTube where they stretched this, this band. It was all stretched out. It's like, dude, how much? Would you put a hundred, hundred one dollar bills in there? Because I've had, you know, I only got two bills here, <clears throat> and you can see two bills. You gotta really shake it loose, and usually what I do, I put the edges of the bills towards that seam. And they kind of catch, so kind of holds it better. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've had, you know, probably up to 10, 10 bills stuffed in there. And it still, still holds up. Still has, you know. I can see, though, you know, if you really stuffed it, yeah, it would stretch out too far. But when I ordered this... 
I actually got this one free. It's just a little elastic band, and tell you, I, I've actually I've used this several times, and um, kind of hard to get things in there the first time, but basically to stick your cards in there, you can stick your cash in there, and that's it. it has this little tab on on it. Can't get can't get any less than this. I mean. It is literally the size of the cards. So yeah, this works good. Um, I kind of prefer to have my cards protected a little better. There's obviously no RFID protection using this. There's none with this, none with this, really none with that. These two have some. But yeah, this was a freebie, so I've used used that quite a bit off and on but the fireman's recycled firefighters um sergeant wallet i believe that's the name of it check them out they got all different kinds and if you don't know stuff's made out of recycled fire hose i mean the stitching's excellent on this thing double stitch can't i have no complaints over that oh, that's a good wallet and yeah i'll probably I'll probably swap, switch between several of these. And then a while back, I bought a Travex original 2.0. And I really like this. Um, put the cards in. You adjust the paracord. Paracord kind of threads, threads through. You adjust it. You got a little keeper latch here. Got this little barrel thing on it. Hook it over that. There's no way the cards are not going to fall out. You want a card, pop it loose. Slide out what you, what you need. Hook that back up. Money clip on the back. Uh, extra, I shoved it in too far. This is actually a little bit loose for six cards. Because I'll show you that one. I had something else in, in here. But yeah. Money didn't fall out. This thing rides in the pocket good. You have this little. Little lanyard. Reach in. Pull it right out. So. I really. 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 Like carrying this one. Um, you can see it's a little bigger than card size. Um. In fact, you can put a card, you can carry a card <clears throat> right on the front here, just like that. So, that shows you, you know, it's a little bigger than the card. Plus, you got a little lanyard hole there. You got a little pry, pry tool. And, of course, it's got a bottle opener. Pocket clip doubles as a bottle opener. And, yeah, I really like this one. But, never, always looking for something different. So, that's a Travax Original 2.0. And I just recently bought another Travax wallet. And this is the Armored Summit wallet. Now, this is pretty basic. Kind of the same concept. Um, kind of combines, you know, a couple of these together. Basically, let me take everything out. These are my actual cards that I carry. Let me get those out. And basically, you have the top plate. You have the bottom plate, and it's got these two sides to capture the cards, kind of like this had sides to capture the cards. Put the cards in, put that over it. It's got this strap. You adjust the strap through the, the buckle, and 
that's it. So, was all my dummy cards here. Put these in. Want a card? You know, you just kind of go through and pick out whatever card you want. Now, let me see. One reason that was loose is I also have the Travax, um, what is it called? Shift? Shift beard, beard hair comb. And if you actually look at it, it's shaped just like the top plate. So it fits perfect in this one. And it fits, fits in most of these, really, but, so... I have that in there. Let me count one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I got about six cards. And, um, maybe I only carry five now. Let me take one out. Ugh. Yeah, so I'm only carrying five. I, I, I've, I've scaled down. I got one, two, three, four, five, well, five. I got six cars, but two are th really thin. So, yep, just like, just like the other one, you want a card, you can just kind of fan it up. You can spread them out, pick whatever one you want. I usually have the comb right in the middle and I have the three most used cards on top of it. So I do that. I get to the card. I got the three I three cards I use the most right there on top. And <clears throat> that's why I've been carrying. And I really like this. Like I said, it's this is a little bit smaller. It is RFID protection as long as you have like the strips behind the metal and oh, I didn't show you the money clip um I like the money clip on this a lot better this one you just kind of shove your money in behind this buckle in the the tail end of the strap it works um I haven't money hasn't come out of it I've had up to five bills I'm down to two, so, yeah, it's worked just fine. I may put a, actually, I may tie a little lantern on this because I got so used to reaching, pulling, pulling it out of my pocket. I might do that with this. But, yeah, um, one, one other thing. When I ordered this, this one, this, I can't remember. When I ordered one of these, they sent me a free Summit wallet. Now, I haven't used it. This is how they come. A little plastic bag. It says, give this to a friend. This was a freebie. And it tells you who who put it together. Built by Galen. And, um, show this to you real quick. Like I said, I haven't used it. This one's got purple purple strap but the premise it is exactly the same as the armored summit minus minus the top plate the top plate's what makes it the armored summit but yeah so of course this is not adjusted let's see if i can fit anything in here yeah i can fit I can fit the comb and a few bills, and you can see it's not nearly adjusted. It's tight. Same concept. You can actually tuck that back in under, get back in frame. But yeah, same concept minus the 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 top plate. But if I want to change, you know different look instead of changing the strap now I can just 
do that and I got a different look. So yeah, that's why I haven't really used this yet. I haven't felt the want to have a purple strap yet, but I will. I got a purple knife. I got purple stuff. I got purple flashlight, purple knife, and yeah, so these are the wallets I've used, geez, over, like I said, last at least 12 years. So I thought I'd show you. And then, yeah, of course, I'm minus, I'm missing the um, Chum's surf, surf wallet. That's a pretty neat wallet. Um, if I get another one, I'll definitely show it to you guys. But yeah, I guess that's it. Um, as usual, you like this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And, oh yeah, today's Tuesday, so Tanto Tuesday. I have the Bear, have the Bear Ops Rancor 4 Tanto Blade. Um, about, what was it, about 70 bucks. Made in the U.S. Bear Ops by Bear and Son. 14C28N. Aluminum handles. Deep carry pocket clip. Their slide lock. I mean, you can't beat beat that. But that's it. Show you Tanto Tuesday. I don't know why that that's the thing with me. But yeah, I guess that's it. Till next video. Bye.